An analysis of more than 150 photos and videos taken since the devastating October 7th attack on Israel shows that Hamas has assembled a patchwork arsenal of weapons from around the world. This is despite a 17-year blockade across the disputed territory that was aimed at stopping such a massive military buildup. So I think we shouldn't be surprised that Hamas is heavily armed. We know they have significant domestic uh, caches and stockpiles. We know they have a, a significant manufacturing capability, and we know that weapons have been smuggled into Gaza. Evidence shows Palestinian militants using a range of weapons and artillery, including North Korean and Bulgarian-built rocket-propelled grenades. Chinese launchers for anti-aircraft missiles and Iranian sniper rifles capable of firing deadly 50mm calibre rounds. You can eat through a, a three-foot concrete reinforced wall with a 50 cal. Uh, they're, they're, very, they're very devastating. Hamas declined to answer how it obtained these arms, but released a video suggesting the high-power rifles were being manufactured within Gaza. However, speaking as a master gunsmith, Don Freddy poured cold water on the flames. What I saw in the video um, I'd stake my reputation on they're not doing it there. Today, the level of sophistication needed to turn out a precise rifle like that, I think these folks are just trying to cover their tracks. While Iranian representatives declined to comment whether their government supplied weapons to Hamas, information remains thin on the ground about how exactly Hamas have purchased such weapons to bolster their military might in their ongoing conflict with Israel. The Israeli government have reported at least 186 Israeli soldiers have been killed, and more than 1,000 have been injured. However, as the Gaza Health Ministry doesn't distinguish between civilian and combatant casualties, the losses suffered by Hamas forces are less clear. Thank <laughs> you.